Welcome back to another episode of Nathan Reads. Today, we're going to be looking at a book called The Pleasantness of a Religious Life by Matthew Henry. And Matthew Henry was a Puritan, which I love reading the works of the Puritans. And this book in particular is very convincing and very persuasive in explaining how pleasurable the Christian life can be. So let's jump right to this section that I wanted to share with you today. It adds to the pleasure of a journey to have it fair overhead. Wet and stormy weather takes off very much of the pleasure of a journey. But it is pleasant traveling when the sky is clear and the air calm and serene. And this is the happiness of those who walk in wisdom's ways, that all is clear between them and heaven. There are no clouds of guilt to interpose between them and the sun of righteousness, and to intercept his refreshing beams, no storms of wrath gathering that threaten them. Our reconciliation to God and acceptance with him makes everything pleasant. How can we be melancholy if heaven smile upon us? Being justified by faith, we have peace with God. And peace from God, peace made for us, and peace spoken to us. And then we receive, and, and then we rejoice in tribulation. Those travelers cannot but rejoice all the day who walk in the light of God's countenance. So, this was a really great book. It really took me to a place of enjoying the idea of living the Christian life. And I know that a lot of us sometimes go about our spiritual duties begrudgingly, if we had to admit it. A lot of the times we rush through the things we must do to check the boxes to be considered a decent Christian. In this book, if you want to go pick it up, if you want to order it online, The Pleasantness of a Religious Life, Matthew Henry, a really splendid book that shifts your perspective back to looking at the Christian life in a positive way. It is a good thing. It's not a challenge that is burdensome. Yes, it's challenging, and that's any life. It's challenging, but we have the promises of God. I feel like my voice just did something weird there. I feel like I uh, drank. But we have the promises of God. Let us rejoice in the fact that we have been given the opportunity, the privilege to be called the sons and daughters of God. I hope you've been doing well. It is Saturday, March 4th, 2023, currently, and I'm getting ready to go cut the grass for the first time this season. I'm also going to clean the gutters. So fun stuff, going to plug in some headphones, maybe listen to some music, listen to an audio book, and just enjoy the beautiful weather. It's not too hot. It's high 70s, a little sunshiny. We're just doing some spring cleaning around here. So we are blessed. William is just past seven months, uh, seven months old. And we just found out a few days ago that we have another beautiful baby on the way. So we don't know. Uh, if it's going to be a boy or a girl just yet, but we're excited. We are giving glory to God that he has blessed us with another child. Uh, Your prayers are appreciated as we go through the growth process of our family. Uh, We hope and pray that you are doing well out there. Uh, If you like coffee, I know I'm switching gears here, but if you like coffee, I do have an online coffee shop called hosannacoffee.com. So that's H-O-S, 
a double n a coffee.com. We've got lots of different uh, blends and roast. We also have gift cards, merchandise, hats, shirts, coffee mugs, all the good stuff. I just spent some time this morning revamping the website and adding a few things. Our monthly coffee is African Kahawa blend. So go try that out. Tell me what you think. I'm also going to uh, add some uh, a place on the website so you can leave a review. So you can take a picture with your smiling face and a bag of Hosanna coffee or your cup with the steam coming out. Uh, excited to see your smiling faces. Um, so thankful for your support uh, through Hosanna Coffee. Uh, we do um, send 10% of all our profits to Christian missions all around the world. And there's a link to who we're currently supporting on the homepage. Or you can check that out. We change that uh, here and there. Uh, but yeah. I just uh, I hope that you're doing well out there, and I pray that uh, you would draw cr- close to Christ, whether you are a Christian who maybe uh, has, you know, just like this book that I've mentioned, may have come to feel like the Christian walk has become rather burdensome, rather dreary. It does not have to be so, and that's not the way God intended it. Or on the other side, if you're not a Christian, I pray that you would still draw to Christ, draw close to him, call out to him, find a Bible. If you have a smartphone, you can download a Bible app for free. Start reading. Go to the book of John and start reading and see and hear the gospel and be saved. That's all for today, folks. I pray that you have a blessed day wherever you are. And until next time, God bless.